How's it going, everybody? My name is Magna Martell, and welcome back to another video. And once again, we have to revisit the topic of Twitch's favorite e-thought, Alinity, where she broke down and started crying in on her most recent live stream. So let's take a look at the clips here, and then we're going to have a tiny little discussion about it. I just don't know what to do. Like, I just don't know what to do. Like, do I stop streaming? Is that the only way that people are gonna ever leave me alone? <laughs> like, it's my livelihood, you know? <laughs> and it's been my livelihood for eight years. Like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> don't listen to trolls. Just accept that you made a mistake because you are a human being. I have, I have, Jack, right but do way. I really have to read thousands and thousands of messages every day about the mistakes like I've made say, in my past? The best one is is that just really what you. I have to do? You have been through a lot, you know you are loved and appreciated, don't forget that. Like, you can't just say, like, ignore the trolls. <laughs> Okay, to start this off, first of all, she was silent for way too fucking long. If this were any small streamer besides her, or any other streamer besides her, that five seconds of solid silence is the point where people would start clicking away. But because she's an attractive woman, they stay anyway. Second of all, I had to turn my volume all the fucking way up just to hear her. Girl, speak up a little. Holy shit. But okay, so the reason for this was that recently a content creator by the name of Brayden, or Bryden, I don't know what the actual enunciation is, he recently passed away, and there's a couple of rumors going on that it was because of, ah, uh, toxic Twitch chat and toxic viewers, things like that. Others say it was because he had bipolar depression. I don't know the details. I'm not familiar with who he was. His, uh, his name was Rectful, I believe. I've never watched him. I hold no opinion on it. I'm neutral here just because I, I've never heard of him before in my life. I have no idea who he was. But that was what prompted this little bit here on this live stream. So let's get one thing straight here, Alinity. Your livelihood is not your Twitch stream. It is not the fact that you are a Twitch streamer. It is not the fact that you are a content creator. It is the fact that horny teenage boys like to see you sitting there in front of a camera because you have a pretty face. Your livelihood is the teenage boys and the donations they give you, not the stream itself. You are not like most content creators. I'm not saying that it's not okay to make it your livelihood that way, and I suppose you do consider the stream your livelihood because that's where you get the money from. But I'm just saying that that is not your livelihood itself. You are not like other people who do what you do. Look, I'm going to be honest about it. I don't condone the idea of telling people to, uh, to off themselves, okay? I, I can't get down with that. I can't agree with that. Because I've been told to do that countless times. And that's apparently what Rectful did. At least that's, that's what I'm hearing anyway. Again, I'm not familiar with the situation. But in this case, Alinity, we all know that you're crying crocodile tears. Crocodile tears, Alinity, will get you nowhere. The objective reality is Alinity really clearly is not always being harassed. Maybe sometimes. We all get harassed. It's the internet. It is the nature of the internet and the anonymity that the internet provides. That people will say things that are mean and hateful to each other. I'm not saying I condone it. I'm not saying that you should go out of your way to do it. I'm just saying that that is the objective reality of the internet and the world we live in. But Alinity, given who you are, given the things that you have done, between marrying a man just to get Canadian citizenship and then immediately divorcing him, between breaking the Twitch terms of service constantly, between using your body and sexuality and your appearance for views to basically sap money out of teenage boys, I'm going to be honest, yes, I think you should quit streaming. I don't consider you a streamer. I don't consider you or the people that do what you do as streamers or content creators because you do nothing but sit in front of a camera with a pretty face and occasionally on rare occasion, actually play a game or something. You know, I know the Just Chatting section exists, but if it wasn't for the fact that there's people like you, it wouldn't exist to begin with. Yeah, you can be a commentary person. That's what I do. You can sit in front of a camera and just talk to your audience. That's fine. But most of the time, you really don't have anything to say. 
Most of the time, you sit there in silence and just accept compliments and read messages that you get from your donations. I think that you should quit streaming because ultimately you and those like you have done nothing but bring disservice and damage to the platform that you use. But don't think for a second that I have sympathy for you. Yes, it's true that maybe some people do harass you and go out of their way to harass you, and that's wrong of them. I wouldn't wish that on anyone when it comes to the internet, but it's just part of the internet. I'm not saying it's right, I'm not saying that you deserve it, but maybe you should consider the fact that some of the criticism levied towards you, you deserve. I'm not saying you don't deserve forgiveness, I'm just saying that you need to be willing to actually change and consider that criticism when it is given to you, rather than playing the victim and saying that everyone who says anything mean about you is automatically harassing you. But what this comes down to is the fact that you're crying crocodile tears and pretending to be upset by something when you yourself are very well off. Now I'm not saying that people who are well off can't be miserable or depressed or have problems because that's simply not true. But what I am saying is that the amount of criticism you receive is quickly overshadowed by the amount of donations you get, by the fact that you have people who are willing to try to make you feel better while you're sitting there crying, and we will get to that in a minute. But what this really is about, what really bothers me about this, is that you did this on purpose. You are using the passing of a content creator who was, at least in my opinion, based on the fact alone that I have no respect for you, your superior as a way to make it about you, because you want attention. If there's one thing I have come to learn in my life, it's that whenever someone tries to make something else that is completely unrelated to them about them, they are an attention seeker. And I don't mean when you draw a similarity, or when you explain a situation that you yourself have experienced that is similar. No, I mean when, an, when a man literally commits self-harm, and you try to say that you're thinking about doing it because you're harassed. You are a fucking attention seeker. And that is what I personally dislike the most about you. Now back to that part about you've been streaming for eight years. You know, I have been streaming for seven years. I have never received a dime for a single Twitch stream I've ever done. I just a couple months ago hit affiliate. I don't want to hear what am I going to do from you. Because you are one of those people who got popular very quickly. You got successful very quickly. You are at a state in your life where you are very well off. And you know what? I'm happy for you that you have that. I don't approve of the way you achieved it. But I'm not going to sit here and not acknowledge the fact that you are very, very lucky. You don't know what you're going to do. Maybe you should get a real job. Maybe you should step away from streaming and take a little vacation. And I don't mean, uh, you're going to do something to get yourself a temporary suspension and ask for it so that you can take a three days off. No, I mean you should have your own volition. Tell your following that you're taking a break. And then take a month or two off from what you're doing and go work a real job. Go see what it's like to live miserably. Or better yet, here's an idea. How about quit streaming entirely and go live like the rest of us do every day. Because you'll quickly learn that when you don't have horny teenage boys giving you money, and you're not just getting paid because you sit in front of a camera with, with your makeup done up, life isn't so easy. Alinity, you strike me as the type of person who has had most things handed to her in her life. And that's why you feel the need to cry this out and say that you don't know what you're going to do. You know what you're going to do. You're going to continue to stream and put up with the harassment, as few and far in between as it is, and the criticism, without changing who you are as a person. Because you know full well that you don't have to. Because you know full well that people are going to continue to hand you money to sit in front of the camera and talk to whoever you want in chat, while occasionally looking at a music video. You know that. I know that. We all know that you're not really upset about the things people say about you, because if you were, you would maybe stop and consider for once that maybe there's a reason they say some of it. Maybe not all of it, but some of it. Maybe there's a reason that people like It's a Gundam and I talk about you when you do something. Maybe there's a reason that we're so hard on you. It's because we know how easy you have it, and we're tired of being told that we're the asshole for criticizing you. Maybe it's because 
You're entitled. Because you get it easy. Because people hand you whatever you want. Now let's talk about the end of that clip. The donations that she was receiving in the messages. Let's play it back one more time to refresh your memory. Can do. Don't listen to trolls. Just accept that you made a mistake because you are a human being. I and have, I have. Jack, right but do way. I really have to read thousands and thousands of messages every day about the mistakes like I've made in my past? All right, let's start off with, let's face it. She laid on the tears because she knew that it would make some of her simps feel bad for her and give her money. Okay? No doubt about it. You see, evolution has this thing, especially when it comes to men, that when we see a woman crying, it is our instinct, more or less, to try and comfort them. That's not something that you can just ignore. That is human evolution at its finest. And that's exactly what these boys are trying to do. I love the fact that she has a thing set up to read the message for her rather than reading it herself. I mean, one, that's probably very helpful when it comes to timing, but holy shit, is that just fucking lazy. Most people actually read the damn messages themselves. That means she doesn't even have to pay attention to chat half the time. Alinity, I don't believe for a second that you get thousands and thousands of hate comments every single day. I simply don't believe it. Even if you do, I simply don't believe that you see them all or that you even read half of them. Because I know what it's like to wake up to 200 plus messages of people on the internet telling you to fucking off yourself because you're a piece of human shit. I have been there. And you know what? It's really frustrating. A lot of things go through your mind. And it's never, maybe they were right, maybe I made mistakes first. No, it's always, wow, fuck these assholes, they're a bunch of dicks. I don't have to listen to them. But did you ever consider for maybe, just, just a moment, that just maybe... The reason you keep hearing about the mistakes you've made is because you continue to make them. Because you've done nothing to improve yourself as a human being. Because you've never made amends for anything you've done. Humans are incredibly fickle and incredibly vendetta-holding individuals. They will hold grudges for 20, 30, 40, 50 years even. But most of the time, it's very easy to get rid of a grudge, depending on what it is. To get people to forgive. And all you usually have, usually what it takes most of all is an admission of wrongdoing and an attempt to change and be better. That's something that you never do. No, instead, you continue to do what you're doing because it makes you money. So you don't have to live a real job. Because you like the fact that people will hand you an easy living. I don't know what you've gone through in your life, and I can't speak for that, but I'm going to be honest. I guarantee you, just by looking at you and the way you are now, very, very little of it was actually as difficult as some of the things other people have experienced. And even if it was by some minuscule chance worse than some of the things, if it was truly that awful, I mean, for one, you're much better off now. You're better off than most people, including me, who was busting his ass every day trying to get into a position like yours. Where he's successful. Is, is that just really what you. I have to do? You've been through a lot. You know you are loved and appreciated. Don't forget that. It's like you can't just say like ignore the trolls. Okay, now let's talk about the second one. I mean, she cut off most of it, and it was hard to hear because she was too busy screaming and crying. But yeah, you can just say ignore the trolls. If you were a man, that's exactly what people would say, honey. You wouldn't be getting these special comments with donations telling you that you're loved and that you're a good person. Because if you were a man, they'd be telling you to man the fuck up. I'm not sorry if that offends anybody watching this video, because that's just an objective reality. That if she was a man, and she wasn't a specific person, she would basically get told man up. Every time I complain about my lack of success, I get told that it's my own fault and I need to man up and do something about it. And I mean no one, literally no one, ever even considering for even a split second that there might be factors out of my control that have some form of hand in it, at least some minuscule involvement. And even if I was an already successful creator, I would still be getting the same thing because I'm a guy and not an attractive woman. Or, or, the, tr the real fans, the actual fans who do care that would say, it's okay, it's okay, things are gonna be fine. You just, we appreciate you. Would mostly go overlooked. I don't know what it is about popular creators that they are so soft that everybody babies them. 
But then the people that bust their ass and are trying to make something of themselves get told, well, it's your own goddamn fault. Go fuck yourself. No, that ain't how it works. I'm tired of it. And that's why I'm telling you, Alinity, that what you do has a hand in it. The way you act, the things you do, the fact that you are unwilling to admit your mistakes, the fact that you take protections from Twitch is part of why people frequently continue to criticize you. Alinity, you need to stop playing the victim. Because you don't know what it's actually like to bust your ass every day and suffer and struggle. This reminds me of that fucking album by that, uh, oh, I can't remember what his name is, DJ something or other, it starts with a K. His album was called Suffering from Success. That title pisses me off. Because I don't believe, truly, that you can suffer as much when you're successful. Your suffering might still be there. It might just be slightly different. But it's not half as much as somebody who's trying every goddamn day to succeed. And you know, the only reason I come off as extra harsh when I do these videos is because I know what it's like to have people not give a flying fuck what you have to say. And I'm tired of watching certain people get babied and others getting told, well, too fucking bad, especially when it's me. Alinity, I believe firmly that everyone, if they are willing, can be forgiven. But I also believe that people are very, very resistant to change. To the point where they are almost unwilling to change. Maybe if you start working on your content and just stop sitting in front of a camera ha dancing half naked and become an actual content creator, things might be better. Maybe people will stop criticizing you for what you've done in the past. Maybe if you stop using your body for views, people will stop criticizing what you've done. People will stop using that all the time. Now, there will be people who will. I'm one of those people. You got there by using your body for views. I'm never going to let you live that down. But I will forgive you for it if you're willing to change and do better now that you're already there. But the problem with you, Alinity, is that you have shown an unwillingness to even consider change for even a minute split second. That's what I don't like about you. That's why I continue to talk about you and discuss you and people like you. Because it pisses me off and irritates me to no end that people baby you and protect you and that media outlets especially will go out of their way to make you seem like an innocent victim when the truth is you're more often than not the instigator that's what i don't like that's why i do commentary to talk about stuff like that because my inevitable goal is for my audience me to find an audience who actually cares and values about what i have to say and the people who don't they don't have to I don't do it for them. I do it for the ones that do. Even if they disagree with me, they still care about what I have to say. Alinity, you are trying to take the passing of a man that is completely unrelated to you and make it about you. You are trying to be the victim and garner sudden forgiveness for your mistakes that you have not done anything to earn. You know, how about that guy who you married to get Canadian citizenship and then divorced? Have you ever called him and apologized for what you did to him? For damaging his life in a way that is really, really hard to reverse, if not completely irreversible. For maybe turning him into someone that might never trust a woman again. Because I haven't heard a thing about that story in a long time. I understand we all have our days where we don't feel like we're valued. We don't feel like what we do matters. I understand we all have our days where we feel like crap. And we just feel like the whole world's stacked against us. I get it. Not a day goes by where I don't consider myself a failure. Not a day goes by where I don't hate people like you who I think didn't earn their fame while I bust my ass and get nothing and then get told that it's my fault and only my fault and that there's no factor that could possibly be just a tiny bit related. Now, I don't condone the harassment of people. I really don't because I know what it's like to be harassed. But I have also accepted the objective reality of the Internet and humankind people in general, is that harassment will never go away. People will always be harassed. People will always have mean things said about them and to them from other people. That's just part of the world. Being an adult is dealing with that and accepting it. And maybe considering that sometimes, maybe sometimes what they say is a criticism they levy because they know that you need to hear it. Or maybe because they think that they might be able to change what you're doing. But to sit there and demand sympathy and attention and donations and, per and cry crocodile tears when actually you know what you're doing. 
knowing that it will get you exactly what you want. Meanwhile, you have absolutely no fucking desire or, if it, or have even considered the fact maybe you should change a little. That's what I don't like. To sit there and be and try to be the victim when you yourself are more often than not part of the problem, it's asinine. And I don't like it. Alinity, most people don't like you for that reason. Because you're an ungrateful, entitled little girl who has had most of her life and success handed to her on a silver platter with minimal effort. You don't get to sit there and cry and say that you are suffering and that you have problems while completely ignoring the suffering you've caused others and the problems that they might have. You don't get to sit there and make the passing of an innocent man the tragedy that has befallen the internet about you. Just because people criticize you and they're paying more attention to him than you. You just... Just fucking negligent, Alinity. Just fucking negligent. And you disgust me. And hey, if you like the background footage on this video, feel free to go check out my other channel, Black Air Productions. Over there, I upload all of the various background footage pieces that you can see throughout my various rants and discussionary topics here on my main channel. I also do some skits with my friends and some basic little passion projects. It's more of a side channel than everything, but over there, I did make all of the background footage publicly available for anyone to use. I just ask that I please be credited. And while you're at it, why don't you check out my Twitch? It's there that I usually stream my episodes of Uncut, Uncensored, Unprotected, Let's Talk Gaming, and where I do various Let's Plays and other similar streams almost every day. My goal is to inevitably, hopefully, one day reach part